and we're back with another one another pitch meeting reaction the batman we watched it the other day the batman. so we're gonna react to this and then we're gonna talk about the movie let's check it yes. out so, you have a new Batman movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I'm thinking we make this the darkest Gotham yet. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're gonna make it seem like this city passed some kind of weird one light bulb per household law. <laughs> Sounds very dark. You know it, sir, because we gotta you make these it. movies darker and darker and darker and darker. <laughs> That's just good business. How do you figure? Well, sir, we keep going like this. Pretty soon people will pay to see a completely dark screen, <laughs> and we could play some kind of Batman audiobook or something. <laughs> oh, that will save us a ton of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who are you thinking for Batman? Oh, I was thinking we get Robert Pattinson. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Twilight, vampire, vampire, bat, bat, man. Very clever. <laughs> you know, it's just because he turned into a real That's good and accomplished thought. actor since the Twilight movies. <laughs> good time? I'm enjoying myself, sure. That's, never mind. All right. So anyway, as Batman, he's going to be dark and brooding, right? Okay. But then as Bruce Wayne, he's going to be brooding and dark. You need that dichotomy, yeah. Yeah, and he's going to have dark eyeliner and hair in front of his face and Everything say stuff dark. like, you're not my dad, like it's 2006 or something. Nice. And this guy's He's Batman so suit is totally bulletproof. I mean, bad guys just unload machine guns onto his chest, and he's not affected in the least. Yeah, so I guess his mouth must be covered too, right? Otherwise, they could just aim at that. No, that's completely <laughs> exposed, but nobody's gonna shoot at that part. Why not? Because <laughs> that works. So who's he going up against in this movie? Oh, several bad guys, sir. The main one of which is the Riddler. Oh, that guy riddles, sir, does, sir. So he's going around killing corrupt people in power and leaving little riddles for Batman. Oh, I bet he is. So then throughout the movie, Movie, Batman's gonna look at these riddles and then solve them pretty much immediately. Nice. But sometimes he doesn't solve them immediately, and that means he's gotta go stand on a rooftop with Gordon or Catwoman for an extended period of time. That makes sense. <laughs> so he's gonna start digging around Gotham's criminal underground, right? Getting to know the sketchy figures and stuff. Who are we talking about here? There's friggin' Carmine Falcone, and then there's the Penguin, who's Falcone's right-hand Penguin. Oh, we got Penguin in the movie. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be like, hey, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> very Italian-American <laughs> Flightless bird. That's right, sir. So obviously I was thinking we get Colin Farrell to play him. What? Yeah, just cover the guy in so much makeup and prosthetics that even after people Google it, they're still like... Really? All right, I mean, I guess we could do that, sure. And so eventually Riddler's gonna attach a bomb around the neck of this corrupt DA and send him to a funeral of the mayor who he also killed. Uh-oh. Yeah, and this bomb ends up exploding right in Batman's face. Uh, he didn't know it was gonna blow up? No, he did. There was a clear timer on it, so. So he didn't take cover? Not even a little, so he goes flying backwards. Oh, well, I guess that's gonna hurt the exposed bottom of his face. Nope. Not even a little, Not but he is knocked unconscious. Ooh, that's gotta be a pretty severe concussion. <laughs> nope. So then the police bring him to the police building, you know, where you bring injured people? So they unmask him? They don't, no. So then he manages to escape by gliding off the top of their building and smacking into a little bridge thing. I mean, that's gotta be a pretty severe concussion, too. No, no, no. no okay. No. So then eventually Batman <laughs> thinks that Penguin is this informant that he's looking for, oh, right? So he chases like him right. down and a bunch of cars yeah, and trucks good. explode. It's gonna look yeah. very cool. Oh, wow, jeez. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy intense. But then turns out it wasn't him. You know, that wasn't the informant. So all those people in the exploded <laughs> cars died so Batman can follow an incorrect hunch? That's right. And uh, whoops. Whoopsie. And so later Batman's gonna have this conversation with Falcone and Falcone's gonna be like, hey, did you know your dad paid me to kill a journalist back in the day? Did you know that? Oh man, that's gonna shatter Batman's world. It does. So then Batman goes to confront Alfred about this and Alfred's like, oh yeah, no, that's not true. Oh. Yeah, it turns out the crime guy was lying. That checks out. Yeah, glad that was resolved. Resolved immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so what else happens? So eventually Batman's gonna figure out that Falcone Falcone, you know, the bad guy. Yeah. He's gonna figure out that he's the bad guy. Right. So he brings him out of this gangster club called the Iceberg Lounge, and when he's under this streetlight, Riddler snipes him. Oh. Yeah, and turns out that's exactly what Riddler wanted Batman to do, because earlier there was a clue about bringing someone out into the light. That was referencing this exact streetlight? It was, yeah. <laughs> oh, very vague and also specific. Yeah, because see, later Riddler's like, there was no way for me to kill that guy otherwise, you know, he's never out in the open. Oh, okay. Except for the very public funeral there both that earlier in the movie. <laughs> and so yeah, then Riddler's in jail and Falcone is dead. Uh, okay, wow, sounds like a great movie. Oh, we're not done, sir. Oh, we're not. No, no, we're no. It's gonna done. feel like maybe we should be, but we're gonna keep going. Oh. Yeah, see, Riddler actually kind of <laughs> thought he and Batman were That's working true. together. Okay. And there's this whole other layer to Riddler's plan. Like, he has a group of followers online that he's been scheming with. What's the plan? Flood the city and shoot a bunch of people. Oh my god, that escalated so much from killing gangsters and crooked politicians. <laughs> it did. 
did, yeah. Because yeah. we got to end these on big <laughs> yeah, set pieces. I guess we do, out. yeah. So how does Batman figure this out? Well, see, Batman figures out that one of Riddler's murder weapons is this tool you use to tuck in carpets. How does he figure that out? Well, he happens to run into a cop who happens to start talking about how he happens to have an uncle who works in the carpet business. Oh, very specific uncles are tight. <laughs> they sure are, sir. So now Batman looks under this carpet and finds the specifics of Riddler's plan. Oh, boy. So now Batman's got to rush to this arena and fight some Twitch commenters. What? Yeah, and it's pretty serious. They're in Riddler cosplay and stuff. It doesn't sound too serious. Oh, but it's gonna be, and Batman's gonna get a <laughs> shotgun like a blast bat, to the yeah. chest. But he's got his completely bulletproof suit, right? So it doesn't hurt him. Yeah, this time it does. So he's like, ow, 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 ooh, stop, ow, ow, ow. But there are still a bunch of cosplayers around. <laughs> wow, okay. So I guess it's gonna be pretty tough to get out of that situation, huh? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Batman's got some green juice. Well, like a smoothie? No, it's like an injection, and it gives him a real good boost. <laughs> what was that? Unclear. Oh, okay. Well, good that he had it. Definitely. So then he's like beating up one of the cosplayers, and the cosplayer's like, my name is Vengeance, which is what Batman calls himself. Oh, freaking nickname stealer. Yeah, so Batman oh, kind of stopped, man. and he's like, whoa, I guess I sure learned a lesson here today. Yeah, yeah, sure sounds that way. But then there's this big electrical wire flailing around, and people are going to get electrocuted because there's water everywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, so Batman selflessly cuts the wire and gets electrocuted and falls from super high up. Oh, my God. Is he okay? Yep. Oh, of yeah, course. he's fine. So... <laughs> Okay, so good. <laughs> totally okay. So then he takes a flare oh, yeah. and he guides a bunch of oh, people okay. out of this flooded area into, I guess, another flooded area because, you know, everything's flooded. A very underwater <laughs> Gotham. Yeah, and then we'll tease a new Joker because we kind of have to. We kind of have to. And then Batman and Catwoman kind of <laughs> ride their motorcycles next to each other and kind of split <laughs> off like it's the end of a Fast and Furious movie. Oh, yeah. it sounds like yeah, a great movie. Was. Wait, is it done now? Yeah, three hours later it is. Yeah. <laughs> great. Well, it'd be nice to have a good cinematic experience, <laughs> yeah. you know? It seems like every Everything is just streaming shows these days. <laughs> That's so true, sir. It will be nice. And then you know what we can do if it's a success. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty funny. It was. I really like this one. They had some good points. Yes. And he's right. This movie was long. Way I enjoyed it, long. but I felt like we went to watch it on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I felt like between the trailers, all the trailers, you know, and, and just, just getting waiting there. and there. I felt like it was my whole Sunday. Yeah. Sunday was, it was gone. It was like a five hour. It was like event. Batman Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and getting online to get to the movie theater and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, but, man. But overall, you know, I like this movie. I did. I did as well. I actually liked it more than I thought, you know, because I thought it was going to be just way too, I don't know, just way too not my type of movie gotcha, right gotcha. and it ended up being good you know really i good. i was like really throughout the whole movie three hours which mm -hmm. is very unusual for me mm -hmm. you know um and i enjoyed it it was dark it, it was, was very, very dark. dark it was very, very um action-packed at yep. the same time and sometimes it was slow but mm -hmm. the storyline kept you know it, it was like contiguous con you say like were continuous? Yes, continuous. Like it didn't okay. jump from one thing to another. It was like, okay. it made sense the whole time. It right? made sense to you. Like, yeah, it made sense the whole time. Um, I don't recommend it for kids. So I don't know how parents will do mm -hmm. when the mm -hmm. kids wanted to go see Batman, you okay. know, but because it's too dark. But right. overall, I liked it. I enjoyed it too. I think uh, Pattinson did a great job as Batman. Yeah. At first, when they first cast him, I wasn't sure. Uh, but he is a good actor, and you know, yes. I gotta say, this was one of my favorite portrayals of Batman that I've seen in a long time. Uh, I grew up reading Batman comic books, and they're all a little, like, all the comics that I read, they're not all the same. Yeah. You know, there's some comic books that are much darker than others, and then there's some comics that are more, like, comic bookish, yes. more colorful. So, yes. you know, when you talk about Batman, you can't really categorize, oh, Batman is just dark or Batman is just this, because there's been all types of Batman comics. And I feel like this one leans a lot more towards the darker, darker, edgier uh, Batman comics that exist. Okay. You know, so uh, I thought it was great. I thought I, I enjoy how they kind of took their time to tell the story. Was it a little bit too long? I feel like it was a little bit too long. I feel like if it would have been tightened down a little bit, it might it might have had a little bit more of a punch. Yeah, I would say like two and a half hours would have been perfect. Right. 
two and a half hours would have been perfect. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, my favorite scene was the chase scene with the mm -hmm. penguin. Mm -hmm. That scene was incredible. I loved it. I think it's hilarious how he said, like, all these people died <laughs> for, like, pretty much no reason. No reason. Because they didn't even kill him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been completely avoided. But anyway, it was a great scene. And I just wish there would have been more scenes like that. This was in the middle of the movie. You know, if they gave us a little bit more action like that, it would have been great. This is more like uh, Seven with Brad Pitt. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of like a like a Zodiac Killer type of movie, a detective movie. Uh, but I feel like they could have added more action elements to it to kind of give it a better pace. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's still a superhero movie. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And um, I, I enjoyed it as an adult, but would I take... Uh, a kid to see this movie? I, I really yeah, I, I feel wouldn't. Like I wouldn't take a kid to see this movie. It was very visual, uh, kind of dark, you know, like you said. Very graphic. Of very graphic, yes. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. But I, it's, it's kind of, you know, contradicting because Batman is like a superhero movie. So right. kids love superheroes. Right. So I don't know. I hope they don't get more, <laughs> yeah. get darker than already got because then, then like it's only going to be adults in the movie theater. No, I mean, for me, it was great. But I'm also thinking about like, let's say if, if I was a kid, when I for, first went to see a Batman movie with, you know, Tim Burton's Batman movie, it was great. I loved it as a kid. But, you know, like a kid now watching this one, I don't think they will be able to enjoy it as much. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely not, yeah. definitely not. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about this uh, pitch meeting. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Yes. A lot of good points. <laughs> Is that okay, we're done? No, no, no. They're we're like, gonna we're just going to keep making it darker. It's going to be like an audio book. <laughs> like the dark, the dark. <laughs> just dark, dark. Like people are going to pay just to see a black screen. A black screen. <laughs> no, I mean, back is just up. Like, you could just see his face. <laughs> just his eyes. That's it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Bye. Bye.